Now, before we do this, I got this in Tesco today near Radstock, so a bit out from where I live in Warmley. But uh, yeah, I uh, went with Tom and Luke, ended up going to the Mendips, which is what you're going to see before you see this initial video, the review of us just going out there and uh, seeing what's what. Did a few videos and I think I even did a uh, couple of pics. So you'll see that now and uh, yeah, catch you in your review in a bit. What up YouTube, Gazza if you need energy, and this is what we're going to be testing tonight and doing a full review on, Purdy's Bejuvenate. Lovely. So, hiya, Gazza if you need energy, uh, hope you enjoyed that little video at the start, and uh, yeah, so, Purdy's Rejuvenate. Now, I've had this one before, I've got some ice in the cup, you fancy Pepsi Max. Uh, just drink the uh, excess water there. Now I've got nine bits of ice in there. I wouldn't usually use that much, but I'm going to be drinking this quite fast, and I haven't had time to put it in, you know, the free uh, refrigerator or the freezer for even 10, 20 minutes. So room temp, but you know, see, <laughs> but, oh, no shocks. So I wouldn't recommend probably drinking this warm. I mean, it's still nice, um, but really needs to be enjoyed chilled. So without further ado, let's go on and give it a quick review. So, looks out of five. Aesthetically, you know, I think it's two and a half out of five. I like the fact, I mean, the bottle's different. I mean, it's not, it's just a very simple, sort of like black on the bottom. Actually a black sort of bottle. So I forgot about that actually. So we'll put that up to maybe 2.7 out of 5, you know, getting on for free. Do like it, it's got a nice sort of wrap on it, nice silver colour. Red, you know, makes it pop a little bit. Font's okay, I suppose, as well. So, yeah, that's what I think about the packaging. I like the fact that it's in a glass bottle as well. This one here is a 330ml serving, so what you would get in a standard UK can over here, small ones soda cans or whatever you want to call them so can of pulp we save it here so let's get this has got a lot in there guys so it's a carbonated multivitamin fruit drink a blend of grape and apple juices naturally boosted by botanicals and vitamins to give you a gentle lift free from artificial flavors colors and sweeteners free from caffeine Vitamin C, B2, B3, B6, B12 contribute to the reduction of tiredness and fatigue, so caffeine replacement. Uh, vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6 and B12. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, so, wow, guys, it's just so much. I mean, I'll go from, so we already said vitamin C, B2, B3, B6 and B12 contributes to reduction of tiredness and fatigue, like I said, is sort of like caffeine replacement. Um, like I said before, it's B1, B2, B3, B6 and B12 contribute to a normal energy yielding metabolism. Vitamin C supports the normal function of the immune system. One of your five a day or night, uh, all protected with brown glass and a silver wrap. So no light can diminish its potency, suitable for vegetarians to be enjoyed as part of a varied and balanced diet and healthy lifestyle. Uh, so on and so forth. So, there was so much in there, I thought, because I'm dyslexic and it's sort of black on sort of silver, it might as well just be black and white, jumps around a little bit and I think, you know, I'll read the top line again or whatever, but yeah, that is just fully loaded. That's just basically a multivitamin drink, that one, of the highest calibre. So, 
that's got on in there. It is carbonated, as it says here as well. Pressurised container open cap with care in safe direction, point away from the face. I don't think it's going to fly up and hit us in the face today. So, let's crack her open. I mean, the cap as well. Do you know what? For looks and aesthetics, and just the whole package, putting that up to three, and a, uh, three out of five, it'd be me not to. I just love that. And that is a proper, just feels so posh. This is proper posh boy stuff. Here it is. Now, a smell. Not bad. Could be better. Still smells nice. It's a bit pungent. Out of five for me. I think that's a three out of five. All day long, you know, above average. And you really are getting the grapes, the apples. I'll tell you what it smells like. What it actually smells better than is a uh, slur. You might have an American or Canadian or Europe, Eastern European equivalent to that, but we've got this really posh pop over here. It's not even pop, it's more like a carbonated soft drink, really. Um, like a, I think it's even classed as like a beverage, you know, proper posh lot. And uh, you usually get it at Christmas and stuff where people can't drink, but they want to have something that sort of resembles it but tastes really nice. This, I know just by you know, in the past I've had this and I've had both actually. This tastes slightly better than slur, the one they're going after. Slur has got more flavours than just sort of grape and elderflower and all the rest of it. Um, which probably tastes better than this to be honest. But um, when it's this one versus the uh, grape slur, this one comes out on top. And it also does for smell as well, so um, I'm pretty tired. So uh, yeah, smell at a five, like I said before. Three. Three and a half, that's it. Because the more that I smell it, the more it sort of matures after I pop the cap. It does smell really good for you, and it does smell like it's going to be really sort of tasty. So, on now to pouring it. I cannot even rem remember, I think it's like a really off apple colour sort of. Like a really faint yellow or faint green. So here we go. Um, don't worry about it, I'll get a residue in there. So, pour away. And uh, yeah, that was sort of right. It's a bit more vibrant, yellowy sort of colour than what I thought it was going to be, and that I remember. But as you can see, guys, quite a classy sort of colour that. Sort of like in the mix, of, especially when I take it away. It's, I wouldn't know. What to call that? I think even the artist would struggle. I mean, I'm still going to say it's... Oh, between the yellow and green, whatever sort of colour that is, it's like a, a dark, transparent, opaque, I'm not can't say mustard sort of colour, but it's... When you look at it up to the light, it kind of has like a red ball sort of thing. So I'm going to say that's an off amber sort of colour, almost golden. So yeah. Out of five, that's going to be a four, guys. They've really tried hard with that. Like I said, usually you only give sort of red ball generic sort of colour drinks like this. Maybe a, I don't know, maybe a three. But yeah, I reckon that's that's a four out of five actually. Yeah, most definitely. But here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna because I love this stuff. I'm gonna top it all the way up in it. Take a little bit in there for a top up. So it's less dilute with the ice. So guys, taste test. I always like doing this with Purdy because I can never quite remember fully 100% how it tastes. I'm always like 80-90% there. So this is still going to be fun for me. So bear with me. I'm going to just sling this back and uh, tell you what's what. Oh, Carbonation is perfect. It's a little bit less than sparkling, but it's not flat. Slight bubbles, beautiful. Okay, as you're sipping it, very pungent the moment it first goes back. And then it explodes. 
and you think, cool, that was strong. Now, this is twice as strong. As soon as you, like that, swallow it down and sort of like get some air to your taste buds and it just, whoa, comes alive. Really, really good. And obviously, like I said before, like I said on the label as well, it's like apples and grapes and stuff. I would say it favours more with grapes, maybe like a 70-30, 70, 70 being grape, 30 being apple, and maybe even I'm like, even getting like a slight pear in there, just say sort of fruits as well. So I imagine it'd be sort of like the more white fruits. What I mean is white in the middle, if you know what I mean. They could be green or whatever, but yeah. It's got no heavy sort of um, forest fruity sort of thing going on. Only on the very end, like a twang. So in many respects, it's got it all going on, really. But it's not the tastiest drink I've ever had. But in the way of what it reminds me of, like a grown-up drink slur, instantaneous, that flavour and that smell just reminds me of posh people, or what posh people drink, even when I was little. So I like that, because it's got a bit of nostalgia to it as well. Very refreshing. Um, extremely refreshing actually should I say I'm trying to think what else we could say about this one quickly the taste itself it's not artificial it's very natural tasting um, and even though it's got loaded with B vitamins and C vitamins and all the rest of it it doesn't actually you can't actually taste them usually when you take some of these drinks that are not as popular as parodies you can actually sort of taste them and if you've ever tasted sort of like raw naked like sort of energy tablets or vitamin tablets without any sort of flavouring or like a sugar, sugar sort of coating to them. They just got this certain taste, it's not bad, it's not good, it's just very odd. That doesn't have any of that. You literally sip it. You know, they could have gone overboard with this and some people might say, oh, it could be sweeter. But if it's sweeter, it might lead some people to believe that they're not being completely honest with what they put in there because you're just blown. Now, how can that be? So, um, but I think it's just right. Literally, the Goldilocks. Perfect. Makes you feel good drinking it as well. Not a lot of drinks do that. Got a lot of these energy drinks that are sugar free and stuff, but they were always designed to be not that good for you. Good for you in the moment for what you're doing, i.e. energy drink, work or whatever. Or you just need that sudden boost of energy, had a crap night's sleep or you're over. Uh, I can't think if you like got a hangover basically. Um, you can tell I don't drink anymore because I can't remember what the saying is. But yeah, um, very natural tasting. Like I said, very refreshing. Um, and yeah, like I said, the flavour that are that that is there, it feels like it's top quality apples, and most importantly, it feels like it's like top quality grapes. Um, it sort of reminds me back in the day when all the sort of kings and emperors used to have the fruits used to be a sort of luxuries, and you know, it's like a liquid vibe version of that really. I mean, I like to believe that this is something that they would probably drink back in the day if they had the chance to. I mean. Just really tastes decadent, really. Um, not much more to say on this one, guys. The aftertaste is quite nice. It does leave a little bit of a sort of twang, a bit like when you eat grapes anyway. Um, but if you can deal with that, it's not a very big, it's still quite nice. Like I said, there are drinks that have a slightly nice aftertaste, but I would say pound for pound, everything included. Um, yeah, everything that's been considered, everything, anything that you could consider while reviewing a drink, I would say pound for pound that's the best sort of energy drink out there. And the fact that it doesn't have any caffeine in it at all, but it behaves like a caffeine drink, you know? And, you know, to a certain degree, it has got a placebo effect until the B vitamins and C vitamins and all the other multivitamins actually kick in in your body, in your brain, gets, you know, goes through your enzymes and whatever, you know, gets it pumping. Um, yeah, I hope they continue to make this. I hope they never discontinue it. Um, I know it's quite popular. I've got a four pack of these. I can't even remember how much it costs, but it, probably in upwards of maybe four pound, five pound. I know it's a bit cheaper. I know in the shop, it's between 
one pound thirty and one pound fifty, so I might have got a deal. I um, got them at the Tesco Radstock, and not really seen them um, a lot in supermarkets. This was like a sort of medium one to sort of uh, be able to manage with people living in and around Radstock. So you know, I would say a small to medium sized Tesco. So it was really refreshing to see that in there. Pick one up guys one day, like I said, if you fancy sort of like an energy drink without the caffeine, if you're caffeine sensitive or whatever, or just you want to have a buzz but be still be able to sleep, um, you can go to sleep on it if you just want to have, have it as a normal sort of drink to replenish your system naturally, but also if you need it to keep you up, it will do that, you know, so it's not a one trick pony. I'm going to down the rest of this and I wish you good night. Well, good morning, wherever you are. But it blows my mind. You don't need synthetic sugar, sweeteners, synthetic sweeteners, actual sugar, cane sugar, even though I love it, aspartamine or anything, any sugar substitute. More and more of these companies have to remember that fruit has natural sugar in it. And sometimes that's just, you know, for once my body and my brain's not going, Christ, what's he putting through the system now? Oh, Jesus, to give us a break, mate. That is just, just makes you feel good, haven't it? Um, just nothing like, hey, it's got, look, brings a smile to my face. I love this stuff. And um, I was always put off for years because of the black container, but now that I read what is used for, because usually that, to me, looks like a sort of medicine bottle, you know, and, um, the way the font was, like I said, when I was 17, 18, that was all about the monsters and Melitnuses and the Red Bulls and the rock stars and uh, Bang Energy Drinks, Rain Energy Drinks, even though they want about them. But there was there have been so many other ones that have, and they all sort of do the same thing. And, you know, as a sort of old child or sort of young adult, 18, 19, you know, these manufacturers, they know what they're doing with designs. It's all in your face, graffiti, the cans, you put cool designs on there. In many ways, they hit sort of like the younger generation, like they do with smoking and stuff, like you used to do with cigarettes. So um, yeah, I was always put off by that because I thought, well, usually back in the day, especially around 2005 when I left school, all sort of drinks like this, they all tasted naff. And actually, not just naff or boring, that wouldn't be so bad considering the benefits you'd get from it. But they would taste god awful. They really would. So yeah, the fact that that tastes like it does. I can't even remember if I, uh, do you know what, I think, I don't think I gave this a uh, taste test out of uh, five. Can't remember. Um, it might have been a four. Um, yeah, I'm going to give that a four out of five for taste. There'll be some people out there that go, oh, that's slightly high for what it is, but it's not. Because if you actually concentrate, and I know you shouldn't concentrate while you're having a drink like this sometimes, it's not the point of being you actually concentrate is when they're actually eating their food. The first bite you do, and then after that, you just shove them in the back. Even these food connoisseurs, I mean, food is food, drink is drink, isn't it? Once you've tried it once, you've tried it a million times. But yeah, if you actually take the time just to concentrate on it, it's very complex. And there's a lot going in on it. And the fact that it's all natural, it's all good for you, there's nothing in there that a doctor would say, you know, he's not going to tell you that. A lot of these drinks, they might not be bad for you, but they're not good for you. But that is generally a drink that is very good for you. Someone like me who likes his monsters, and will always like his monsters, will still turn and draw for that occasionally. Um, if not occasionally, uh, I would say more times than not, but you know, I still buy that a good couple of times a month. So uh, I preach what I speak. So uh, yeah, an overall score for this, honest to God. Mm. I'm stuck between three and a half out of five and four out of five as an overall score. I think three and a half is just unfair. But then I think I'm being slightly biased towards it because I do actually really like it. Uh, I've always liked it. I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm going to say four out of five guys for that one overall. Absolutely beautiful. The fact that I'm going to pop the rest in here. Say goodnight to you and say if you like what I'm doing at the moment, if you like the content, give us a subscribe. 
would love you to the end of the world for that. Um, I'm on 24, 25 now, so uh, slowly but surely I'm getting there. Give it a like as well if you can. Um, and yeah, leave a comment. I'll take any rest sort of recommendations. And uh, yeah, give it a go, guys. Tell me what you think. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I've got something special for the next one. It's going to be another G Fuel. But um, I'm going to leave that as a surprise. And catch you in the next one. This has been Gaspinid Energy. This has been the Parodies Rejuvenate. Clock it off. Catch you later. Bye.